just gone by, President Akufuado presented the State of the Nation Address with COVID-19 and the economy being the center of his presentation. As you can see on your screens there, he is currently filing out of the four courts of Parliament House where he made this particular presentation. Of course, it's very much important to note that his presentation was very much pivotal on Ghana's growth rate for 2020 being reviewed from 6.8 to 0.8 percent. Revenue shortfall also estimated at 13.5 billion CDs. Expenditure on COVID-19 being that of 11.6 billion CDs with the Fiscal Responsibility Act scrapped due to the pandemic. Now, the president has outlined the priority areas of his economic management under the 100 billion CD Ghana Cares program. Listen in. My government found the resources to cushion the impact of the pandemic because we are good managers of the economy. And we are good protectors of the public purse. Mr. Speaker, the pandemic has exposed the need to expedite the process of moving Ghana to a situation beyond aid. That is why government has developed and is currently implementing the 100 billion CD Ghana Cares About Tampa program to transform, revitalize and modernize our economy and return it to high and sustained growth for the next three years. The key projects under the CARES program include A, supporting commercial farming and attracting educated youth into commercial farming. B, building the country's light manufacturing sector. C, developing engineering machine tools and ICT digital, digital economic industries. D, fast track digitalization. E, developing Ghana's housing and construction industry. F, establishing Ghana as a regional hub. G, reviewing and optimizing the implementation of government flagships and key programs. And H, creating jobs for young people and expanding opportunities for the vulnerable in society, including persons with disabilities. The establishment of the National Development Bank under the Ghana Cares Program is expected to provide financial support to businesses in Ghana. Government expects economic activity, which is already picked up, to do so even further following the ongoing vaccination exercise. Well, let's stay a little further on the president because the COVID-19 has had a dire impact on the economy. President Akufuado said that the pandemic eroded all the gains made since 2017. And of course, biting over 770,000 workers, having their salaries slashed over 40,000 workers as well, losing their jobs. This is how he painted the picture of the impact of COVID-19 on the Ghanaian economy. Indeed, the cost of COVID-19 has been enormous. Our overall economic growth rate for 2020 was reviewed downwards from 6.8% to 0.9%. The non-oil economy was also revised from 6.7% to 1.6%. Revenue shortfall was estimated at 13.5 billion CDs, with additional expenditures related to stemming the tide of COVID-19, estimated at 11.8 billion CDs, with a combined effect amounting to 25.3 billion CDs, or 6.6% of GDP. The resultant fiscal deficit for 2020 was thus revised 
from 4.7% of GDP to 11.4% of GDP. This was done to reflect the impact of the pandemic. The fiscal responsibility rule of keeping a deficit within the threshold of 5% of GDP and the positive primary balance for every year was suspended in 2020 to enable fiscal operations to accommodate the impact of the pandemic. I indicated at the time that we know what to do to bring the economy back to life. What we do not know how to do is to bring people back to life. Well, except of President Okufado's State of the Nation address. Joining us for reactions from the business community is the President of the Ghana Union of Traders Association, Dr. Joseph Obin. Doctor, once again, we're so grateful that you could honor this particular interview. First of all, what is your response to the address by the President earlier today? Yeah. Um, before his address, um, media men have asked me uh, what is our expectation. And what we have said is that um, we want access to affordable credit. And um, if you listen to the president well through the Obatampa CARES program exactly. that he wants to introduce, he has made it clear that as part of it, they are going to establish a business development bank um, and from it. And this, this is the kind of um, um, uh, 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 this is the kind of calls that we've been making that the government should set up a parallel uh, bank that can subsidize um, um, a credit mm. because the cost of uh, borrowing is very high. You, you, you. He said that interest rate has come down to 14 percent. Uh, 14. Um, the base rate has come down to 14.5 percent, but the same does not trickle down on the commercial rates. Mm. It means that what government have to do is to get this um, um, a, a parallel bank or alternative bank for businesses to uh, outsource our credit at cheaper. That's the pain of businesses mm. at this time. For me, at this time, if you ask me what the business community needs, I will mention three things, and they are all the same. Mm. And that is um, access to affordable credit. And that if this is structured in a manner that in the past, um, certain financial institutions have been designed to fast track the activities of certain uh, sectors, like uh, Bank for Housing and Construction, uh, National Investment Bank, uh, Agri Agri Development Bank and all that. I think that's the same thing that the president seeks to do. And I'm overly excited that uh, this has to be fast-tracked and uh, to make sure that we can um, assess affordable credit from here. If they are not able to compel the commercial banks to come along with the base rate, the gap is too much. And uh, the, the, the cost of borrowing is way too much for the business community that is started as the engine of growth. So if the, oil, uh, the engine of growth have to be um, oiled, then it should be oiled through um, some, of, uh, some initiatives such as the one that the president said, and it is a welcome uh, development. So I get from your statement that even though the president has laid out specific interventions to cushion the effects of COVID-19 for traders like yourself, he didn't really hit on the result factor. I mean, as you rightly stated, the parallel banks needed to be established, among other things. But moving forward, what do you think was left out in the entire address by the president so far from the perspective of Guta? Yeah, um, to tell the truth, I've mentioned what we need. And um, if what he said is anything to go by, uh, the establishment of a bank, business development bank. I don't know the exact name that it was given. This is what uh, we need. If um, the credit there will be subsidized mm. at a real affordable rate. Because other countries are having um, um, their uh, credit at 3%, 5%. And here, 23% uh, and all that, 
um, 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 keep businesses at bay. It doesn't help businesses at all. And then uh, the only thing for businesses to thrive is um, 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 the affordable um, credits or um, cheaper um, uh, borrowing sure. um, rates. Yeah. All that, right. That's so the only way that businesses can thrive, especially when um, we are now um, entering the, uh, we have already entered the continental free trade area. We are going to compete with our other counterparts from mm. other countries. And if their rate of borrowing is cheaper than us, we are already edged out. And all what um, we see to gain from this agreement will, be, will come to naught. Doc, let's end on the note of the uh, the budget, which is going to be read somewhere on Friday. Yes, we've seen the Citizen of the Nations address, but one other big event is going to be on Friday, the reading of the budget presentation. We've engaged Guta, and one major issue on your plate now, aside from what you've rightly stated, is the event at the port, the, the regime, the, 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 the port regime, which remains so unfavorable for traders like yourself. Going into the budget presentation, what key message do you want the uh, majority leader in parliament who's going to be ste stepping the shoes of Ken Ophiriata to address in this budget presentation? Yeah, um, as a matter of fact, um, we want um, cost of doing business to be tilled to the minimum level. And that's what we seek the uh, minister um, to do. And they have been able to put down some of the levies um, at the port to a very minimal level. It started from 19 different um, uh, levies. And then we put them down to about 12. And with time, it's going up again. And uh, we want um, the, the finance ministry or the government to think through that the cost of being, doing business is gradually going up after mm. they have uh, reduced and the benchmark values, and that's the duty rates and all that. And so um, this is the area that we want them to look at. That, right. And uh, taxes should be maintained. Uh, much as we know that government will want to enhance on its revenue collection, there are other ways that government can uh, do to make sure that it can en enhance on this revenue uh, collection. Uh, by way of looking into the... Um, the regime of uh, uh, tax exemptions. Okay. Um, that, that is uh, seriously being abused. If you look at the activities uh, of the free zone area and all that, uh, how people are abusing these so-called tax exemptions and all that, government have to revisit uh, it and then uh, 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 maybe they, they, they have to revise the whole thing all right. uh, to make sure that at least the gains that we get from there can uh, make up the 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 taxes that they do not increase Great. and also we are also expecting that um, we reduce expenditure on especially the areas that do not ensure growth hmm. at least so that um, a business cannot be fettered with some of these uh, uh, expenditure sure. and all that so we we, we also we want government to look into uh, the uh, expenditure patterns okay. and then um, uh, 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 make sure that um, where the expenditure is predominantly, uh, uh, it, it goes to ensure um, the growth um, of, of the economy rather than All right. um, any previous expenditure. Yeah. Great and, submission. Uh, this happen, it means that it's not going to put a necessary burden for us to pay uh, another taxes. That's why I say I expect that taxes are maintained. And then that, uh, the tax net is still not expanded enough. Great. Great submissions there. I think most of these concerns that you have raised will be, you know, forwarded to the right sources, especially when we're building up to the budget presentation on Friday.